AMD, AMD made a massive mistake not supporting DDR4. Massive, dude. Raptor Lake is exciting because six gigahertz. Please go watch my clock speed scaling video. Does not scale in gaming. This, this six gigahertz shit scales in Cinebench and like Geekbench and shit. They're like Intel is playing the AMD game with that shit. You guys, you guys like remember like two days ago, literally two days ago, uh, during all the Zen 4 leaks, there were no gaming benchmark leaks. None of them. A Zen 4 leaks, no gaming benchmarks, only Cinebench and Geekbench and CPU-Z. You're going to see the same shit with this because it doesn't fucking scale in gaming, right? I already tested it on my Alder Lake chip. We went to 5.5 gigahertz. Stop, stopped scaling around 5.3, 5 5.4, right? It just stops. Like the game doesn't give a shit, right? So, yeah, I was just going to talk about that, right? So Zen 4 will also have a threshold. It, just like you know how um uh zen 3 no point going past 4.7 gigahertz does not scale because it's waiting for the memory all the time it doesn't do anything right so zen 4 will have something like that as well right so what you so when i get my zen 4 chip basically what you have to what i have to do when i get it uh i'm gonna have to do like maybe start at like I don't even know. Maybe start at 4.5 and then go up in 100 megahertz increments. Well, for, okay, tune the memory first, obviously. Get the memory down as far as possible because that way then you'll know when the clock speed will stop scaling, right? So if you have like Zen 4 with 5800 XMP or something like that, it might stop scaling at 4.5. And then in which case, you might as well just undervolt the damn thing, right? So... That's how I'm going to do it. Tune the memory first, get it as low latency as possible, then go like 4.7, 4.8, 4 4.9. Eventually, you will find a threshold where FPS stops going up. Then you find the lowest voltage possible for that frequency, right? We we did the exact same process with Zen 3 already, right? It's nothing nothing ever changes in that regard. So the, these fucking large tech tubers showing like six gigahertz on Zen 4 and shit, it's a complete waste of time. You're just throwing power. You're throwing a bunch of power out of the window with no FPS gain, right? Uh, I'm thinking 5.2 as well. 5.15, maybe even just five gigahertz. It'll stop scaling, right? We don't know yet. I deleted a... Uh, 3950x back in the day when i had no subscribers i deleted one and i dropped like what the hell i don't even remember how many celsius i dropped but it didn't improve my performance whatsoever zero percent performance improvement so why delid if clock speed doesn't scale why risk it why fuck your warranty up so if if I end up finding that like five gigahertz is the sweet spot and you can achieve this with a good undervolt, your CPU is at like 70 Celsius, you lock all the cores there and don't worry about it, then no, I'm not going to delid. What? Why? What's the goal? Right? What is the goal prevails all questions? Or weird nerdy shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it scales to like 5.5 for some crazy ass reason, then yeah, then there is a goal to delitting, right? There was a goal to delitting Alder Lake because it actually got you 100 megahertz into that 5.2, 5.3 range, right? Even then, you could get away without doing it in just a lap, right? 
yeah, the same thing happened with every, every it didn't happen with Zen Plus, but yeah, the same thing happened with every generation of Zen, man. Like these these AMD essentially launches them too early. Because they're always trying to beat Intel at something, so then they always release their platform too early, and it's just so fucking broken, right? That's why there's not really any point in buying anything day one either. Look at what happened with DDR5. If you bought DDR5 day one, you got fucked. It was better to wait, right? You have to wait for people. You have to wait for the dust to settle. Always. See, the value... This is just... The value is just so bad on this. I don't even know how I would do in my review, to be honest. It's like... It's like... Like, okay, for example, for example, what if the 7950X, uh, it won't, but let's just say, for example, wins by 5%. Let's just say, uh, right? Because you, you can argue that ADI and uh, Unify X on DDR5 wins in five wins by five percent in some titles over b die right and then b die is like the baseline 100 right but dude 150 dollar a pro 200 dollar hp b die so then you go to the this is 12900k right now you go 12900k 550 dollar unify x and then if you manage to get that team group kit that is supposedly a die what was that 350 for a die i think even then it doesn't really matter but or m die a die doesn't really fucking matter um and then you have the 7950x how much is that on newegg.com This platform cost is 950. 600 plus 550 plus 350. This is 1500. And then this one is 700, 460, 350. Oh, yeah, 1500. Same shit. Right? So, okay, let's say, let's say, let's say these two are 5% faster. Okay? Just whatever. Just assume it's five percent faster for our argument's sake okay even though we know it's not or this one might actually be slower right we'll wait we'll wait for the reviews right so let's say you have a hundred fps with the first one 950 dollars the other two you have 105 fps for 1500 dollars divided by 105 14 dollars and 30 cents per frame 950 divided by 100 nine dollars and 50 cents per frame right you just right amd amd made a massive mistake not supporting ddr4 massive dude oh and then and then okay wait until october and then you replace this 12900k with 13900k with an a pro and hp b die for 950 now you have what 120 fps for 950 dollars can't beat that it's over it's over e even even if the even if the um even if the 7950x 3d comes out and then now you have another five percent on top of of top of on top of um raptor lake b die now you're you're still spending what is this 1430 divided by 950 you're paying 50 percent more for 50% more money for five more percent performance at the best case scenario. Hardware is not that exciting, boys. 
nothing ever changes right i'm not gonna i'm not gonna tell you guys to go forth and spend thine money if you do use my affiliate links obviously but yeah you can just chill on this for the next fucking 10 years dude who cares all right b die for life man he, like 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 someone who was saying earlier on in the stream what if you already have b die oh then you take 200 dollars away from the cost of the platform now you're at 750 dollars let's say you're coming from a 9900k or a 10900k or like a, a 3700x 5800x something like that and you already have some b die bro you're looking at a 750 dollar platform upgrade to a 13900k and an a pro motherboard you take your b die you throw that bitch in there that is some good value man that's some good value you know what i'm saying that's the that's that's so now you're looking at half the price of zen 4 and faster doa man it's doa if the 39k can hit 4600 where would ddr5 have to be to beat it i don't think it matters man you're you're it's not the point there's no goal there like like the difference like already like the 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 difference between 65 gigabytes a second and 120 gigabytes a second is what two percent if you if you keep scaling ddr5 and you keep going keep going and let's say you have this at 200 gigabytes a second what three percent it doesn't it's that's not how scaling works it doesn't matter you can have ddr5 20 000. the game won't use it it's not gonna just all of a sudden magically unlock more fps you know what i'm saying it's not like oh now it finally beats it at 20,000 megahertz it doesn't matter if it was gonna beat it it would have beat it already you know what i'm saying if it was gonna unlock some crazy ass fp so check this out check this out so uh 6800 uh m die to 7800 a die was one percent a thousand fucking megahertz it doesn't matter the cpu doesn't care it's not like yeah it's like it's like oh now we have uh 8800 uh dick die oh now it's two percent like, who cares it doesn't matter i don't know why people always like when will it finally beat it it's not because that's not how memory works if it doesn't use it it doesn't use it you can push it just because you push the memory more doesn't mean the cpu or the game are gonna use it they don't care right you have to get this xoc mindset out of your head what does the game want what is the game's goal i need to transfer 40 gigabytes of textures from memory this is how a game engine works do you have 40 gigabytes bandwidth if yes transfer if no split up and wait for cpu next clock cycle so if you have 500 gigabytes a second that's why graphics cards don't scale either with that shit, right so you have um a 3090 ti right uh it comes stock out of the box with like 21 gigabits per second memory right if you crank that shit to 24 gigabits per second you get what two percent doesn't fucking care it doesn't care right i don't know i don't know where this fascination with memory bandwidth and speed comes from the game doesn't give a shit you know what I'm saying? We're not XOC people here. I like I like large DDR5 speeds. I don't I don't really know what to do with my life. I don't really have a goal. 
I don't play games. I definitely don't play games. But just knowing I have it and that I can post it on Reddit for a thumbs up makes me feel good inside. Makes me feel good, hoodoos.